Every year, Brent Citizens Advice Bureau helps many people who've had problems with bad landlords. If someone has been illegally evicted, they'll come into the Bureau and they will be assessed through the gateway system. They will then be given an appointment to see me, the next available one. If they've been illegally evicted that day, i.e. locked out, I would usually stop what I'm doing and see them on an emergency basis. Um, if they have been locked out, um, our first thing I would do is contact the police on their behalf, explain the situation. The police always will say it's a civil matter, when in fact it isn't. There are criminal, there's criminal legislation to cover, to protect a tenant. BNCTV has investigated several cases in which tenants were wrongfully evicted from their homes. One of them, Sheikh Ndaya, has agreed to speak out about his case to help raise awareness that there is support for those who have been treated unlawfully. It was from this house in Wilsdon Green that on the 9th of February 2012, Sheikh was thrown out in the snow. Beaten, racially abused and all his possessions lost, he is now safe along with his wife and their baby daughter and their case is in court. For two months we were living there, we were paying £7 per, uh, per, per, per day for the electric meter, so we asked them long time, we sent them a lot of email uh, to fix the electric meter, they didn't do anything. And so I told him, I, I'm not going to pay the other half of the rent for the month. And like that, he jumped on me, they beat me up, uh, the, um, the other man uh, holding me like that, put me, and the landlord uh, tried to scare me with a knife, and they throw me outside the room, uh, I fell down over the stair. I knock on the next door, the, the neighbor next door, to ask him, ask her phone to call police. When the police come, uh, before the police come, they heard me calling the police. They 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 come down downstairs. Uh, they took off the phone from me. They pushed me outside the house, and I was there outside with a shirt, without shoes, and a ripped shirt. On the, uh, it was snowing, a lot of snow this day, and I went there for 10 minutes. So when the police get there, I try to explain to the police, well, it's me to call them what's happened. They tell me just, you, you wait here, you don't say no thing. If you get, if you come to the house, uh, if you get in the house, you're going to get arrested. When the police came, they actually ignored him and they went to the house and seemed to side with the landlord. So they helped the landlord to put all his possessions in a duvet cover and take that outside. And so Sheikh was told he wasn't allowed back into the house by the police. And so he and his family had only the possessions that were in that duvet cover. Actually, he couldn't carry all of those possessions and he could only take some of them away and when he came back the rest of them were gone so he'd lost those possessions. We do have quite a few um, illegal evictions, harassment. I think with the forthcoming changes in housing benefit reduction, um, all sorts of other social issues, um, debt, increasing debt, means that landlords are now wanting back their properties sooner rather than later before the fixed term tenancy is expired and a lot of them don't want to wait they don't want to apply to the court for a court order so you'll find a lot of them are harassing their tenants out of the property um, not serving the correct notice changing the locks um, disconnecting the utilities all sorts of things and all those are acts of harassment and my landlord i asked them to give me back my deposit for 845 they you know what they tell me we don't give you your deposit back you know thing you see that you call the police you are nothing nobody gonna help you so go away and don't call us again anymore like that the police the police lady who takes the who takes the complaint against my landlord they advised me to go there to uh, citizen bureau advice and when i went there it was the first time when i was there it was the first time i explained my problem somebody listened to me without judging me without taking uh, part you know like that. it was the first time i feel i feel really really uh, really some people heard what i was saying it was really helpful all the ladies who were there working, all the people who were working and business, they helped me a lot. 
and that's very helpful. Thank you. One of the main problems with dealing with um, rogue landlords is that the tenancy relation team at Brent Council has been reduced from three to one person. So that person is overwhelmed with complaints from tenants about landlords that are harassing them, um, with funding cuts as well. So there's a, a general lack of resources in dealing with this problem. Uh, so really the government needs to look at that funding issue so that the local authority can do their job and bring these landlords to court and get justice for the tenant. Mm -hmm.